If we think about it, when we were younger, we scheduled time for sex, right? Maybe that partner wasn't available in our house. We were like, Friday's going to be a date. Maybe there's going to be sex. And so we had that anticipation and we didn't have any pressure until then, right? So you had this one time you were looking forward to, you knew you were going to be dedicated to it. And it was a big turn on to schedule sex that way. Then now enter maybe a relationship, maybe it's a monogamous relationship, you guys are living together, and we have this myth that we should just like have it whenever, all the time, but we don't, right? We're always too busy doing other things, but if you take it back into scheduling it and say, hey, Sunday, let's do this at 2 p.m., then you're like, that's my protected time to do it. It's kind of like exercising, right? You're like, we could really work out whenever we wanted to, but we don't. So if you schedule it and you're like, my workouts are this exact time, you're much more likely to actually get it done and focus on the task at hand. Yeah. And I think for female partners, right, there's this thing where like people expect us all to have the spontaneous desire, which, you know, maybe as a younger person you had because your, you know, your hormones were raging. But now as an adult, it's not necessarily there all the time. It takes some effort. So guys, schedule it. Go up to your female partner and say, look, I really want to make a special night for us or a special daytime, whatever works for you. And I really want to make this special for us. So can we plan to do this at this time and have open communication with them? Because then they'll have time to get excited about.